The Cowboys dominated hey. the Commanders, 45-10. Dak Prescott, 22-32. Say his 32, name. 331, four Say touchdowns. Say his name. Clean game, no turnovers. Touchdown to C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Rico Dadell, Kayvon Turpin. Kevonte Turpin, excuse me. Cowboys are now eight and three, won five yeah. of the last six. Um, what? Let me take Dak. D- Dak, give, give him his flowers. Dak started the game give when him he flowers. when he hit uh-huh. Ferguson. When he hit Ferguson against that yeah. Tampa two, you can't throw a ball uh-huh. better than that over the middle to start that's the game. That's what happened. That's what happened when you I mean, elite. All Ferguson did was stick. He he stick it. That's, 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 that's what that that's that's what happened when you elite. Bro, stop! Come on, come on now, come on. You know good. Well, come on. Let's have a let's have a let's have a look. I understand you want to troll a little bit, trolled. but let's have a real conversation. So you saying Dak is elite? No, goddamn well he's elite. Didn't you just talk about that throw he just made? Not very many quarterbacks. It's about. So it's about. It's I've about seen fight. Tim Tebow make don't, throws. I, I'm gonna stop that. it. Don't you? Don't you? Stop don't it. You, don't so Tim do Tebow, that. you said don't a you throw. That. You said throw. You said a throw. You make just you elite. mention a throw that Dak made that only the elite quarterback can do consistently. Let's let's stay let's stay on let's stay on target to what we're talking about. So have you seen him make that throw consistently? Have you seen him go deep into the playoffs consistently? What? Have you not seen him lead the we, league we in talk the about today. That was, consistently? That's the, that's the pass, right? We talk about the pass. That's the right, right, right. We talk about the game today. We talk about the game today, right? You said all we talk about the game today was Dak had a phenomenal game. Yes, yes. He was twenty-two for thirty-two for thirty-one. But you didn't let me finish. You. What you want to do, you want to try yeah. to troll. So I want to make sure you it. give Dak his flowers. I'm going to make sure you give it to him today. Bro, are you listening? Ocho, instead of trying to get the fan, I understand. You want to get the people okay. on your side. They're they, they on, they on my side regardless. They Let on my me side finish. Regardless. If you, if, if you, I know, and I know you like that. I okay. like that too. I like when they cheer for you. That means they're going to come to <laughs> nightcap because we're going to give them some, we're going to give them something to laugh yeah. and talk about. Dak, 22 yeah. or 32, 331, mm-hmm. four touchdowns. Clean no game. Clean game. No. Clean. You can't play much better than mm-hmm. what he played. I, I saw one one throw got away from him, and he did yeah, immediately. My bad, yeah. my bad B. Cooks. Yeah. My bad. I led you in that one. I could have put that one on you. Who, clean game. Cowboys 8-3. and three. Look, they played the Giants twice. We know what the Giants is. We know what the Commanders are. We know what the, the, the Patriots. I, but the thing that I like the best about what the Cowboys are doing, when they're playing mm-hmm. these teams that they're better than, and they should be mm-hmm. they're dominating them. It's not a close right. ball game. See, you beat you beat Washington 17-20, you beat Washington 23-20 when you're so mm-hmm. much better right. talent wise. Now I'm like, hold on, what's going on? But when you beat a team 45-10, you beat a team 40 to nothing, you beat a team like they're mm-hmm. beating them. It says that you know what, guys, they're yeah. peaking. They're rounding into shape. And I know it's against inferior competition, but what I want to do is mm-hmm. to see you guys get going now is go time what 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 what, what inferior inferior competition this is the the giants this is the giants stop ocho stop ocho stop this ocho you know damn well all teams aren't created equal stop saying that this the nfl all right i I could have swore i could have swore them i could have swore the other 53 dudes on the other side of the team regardless who they're playing for we're getting paid millions of dollars to play a goddamn game that's not the so so in other words so uh, so in other other words so by your by your Mm -hmm. estimation every quarterback in the nfl is patrick mahomes because all the quarterbacks get paid all the quarter so all the defensive linemen are joey bosa Mm -hmm. and michael parsons so what i'm saying it's the nfl it's the best of the best is the goddamn one percent in the game so to call that team inferior just because they're losing or they're below 500 and get the the, the cowboys oh joe so 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 all teams, players are equal, top to bottom. Well, obviously, you 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 know you know that you just you, told you, me the 49ers. That, you, you just told me hold on. You just told me the mm-hmm. 49ers with the, I don't whoa, see whoa. how they lose. The, when you the, name the, all the, those the defensive make, players. When the, you name the all those offensive of players. The players on the team is what makes them that goddamn great. The makeup So of the, the makeup of the Giants. Are the makeup of the Giants like that? Are the makeup like the Patriots like that? Are the makeup mm-hmm. like the Commanders mm-hmm. like that? Mm-hmm. Why not? You just said it. So you. So what is it? I need you to make up your mind. You got to pick a side now. I'm, 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 I'm not jumping over the fence. I'm just telling you, it's the elite of the elite. It's the best of the best. And, and I, I just don't like the inferior comment because they are still professional players playing at the highest level. They are the one percent in the world, in the world at what they do. Are uh, there not levels? Yeah. So all professionals are equal. So everybody in the NBA is LeBron James because they're you know, in the NBA. That's, that's it's an individual, individual. 
So every so every so every team in the NBA at the time was the Golden State Warriors. Every team in the NBA was the Chicago mm-hmm. Bulls or the mm-hmm. Los Angeles Lakers because they're in the NBA. No, I see where you're going with it, but you understand what I'm saying. No, I, just, I, don't. I just I don't I don't like the word using the word inferior when it comes to an opponent that is also so what, that so is how, also what word would you like for me to use a team that is not well constructed to compete against the better teams I like that better I don't <laughs> like the word inferior a team so, that is not constructed to the magnitude of the Cowboys happen to lose because the Cowboys have the better players I like that better I don't like the word inferior because it makes them it makes it it makes it sound you... like they don't even belong in the NFL they. I say I just I just that, I don't you, I don't I'm just, do I'm just telling that? you I don't like your wordplay I didn't like your wordplay on discussing the fact that a team that are below five hundred the Cowboys have ha- have been able to beat that's all that's all but you can you 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 can continue that's all I just don't like the word inferior it may so, make so it what, makes them feel so less than term- none to me no Ocho yes sir Ocho all teams aren't created right. equal although you're in the yes, NFL sir. there's a re- there are mm-hmm. starters there yes, are backups. They're special yes, teams sir. players. A lot of times the guys on the special teams, and I started mm-hmm. out on special teams. I wasn't to the level that I needed to be to become right. a starter. Once I became a starter, that meant my play went up and I was able to mm. be a starter. Everybody, everybody isn't on that level. Even though you're a starter, that doesn't mean I was a starting tight end. But there are tight ends on other teams that wasn't right. the equivalent. Or there's quarterbacks that's not wasn't the equivalent of a star over Patrick Mahone or even a Dak mm-hmm. Prescott. But what I'm saying is, is that just because a team is constructed of 53 and now I think they have 20 uh 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 uh, uh practice right. squad guys, it's not the same. Ocho. Okay, that's I all I'm you. saying. I got you. I got you. Baby. But see, I what you. you do. Well, see, I I get what you're saying. You're saying well. You're saying that because I, you use the term mm-hmm. inferior, you I'm making it seem like guys yeah, don't they, belong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they yeah. belong. You belong right. because you know the NFL ain't At no all. charity case. Can you help us win? Can you help us win now? Or do we believe you can help us win right. down the road? That's how you get on a roster. They've got to see something like, you know what? He might be a year away, but I think if I keep him mm-hmm. in the system, I think this kid can yeah. be good. And he can help us win. So when I use the term, I, no, it's not, it's not a knock to say, oh, this guy doesn't belong right. in the league. You're in the league. Mm-hmm. You belong. Now, we there have been some guys that's kind of stolen over here in <laughs> years, and they stayed, but that's neither here nor there. But I'm just looking at the teams that they beat and how they right. beat them. That's what I'm looking at. I, look, I, like I said, it's not so much, Ocho, that you win mm-hmm. the game, how you, but how did you look yeah. in winning the game? Yeah, they, they look good. I, I have, I have, go ahead. I so, have one go question, ahead. too, for go. you. I know you want to. I know you want to. I know you want to give this big bouquet of flowers to the Cowboys. I said the Dak. Take off. I said the Dak. That's all. I, I said the Dak <laughs> so, because the defense is going to do what the defense has been doing. Obviously, there have been some trip ups. There, there have been some games where they have fallen, and that's that was my next question to you. I wanted to ask you a question. What do you think about okay. the teams? Right, we talk about the, do, the the domination of the Cowboys, and most of the mm-hmm. teams that they dominated and played extremely well against have been teams below five hundred or maybe right at 500. Yeah. And the team that have winning records, they haven't been able to beat. So I want to know what is the next step for the Cowboys and what do they need to do to beat the team that are above 500 that that they should win, which is similar to playoff games, which they're going to have to face in about three, three or four more weeks. Two of the teams that they beat, what do they have? Outstanding mm-hmm. offensive lines. You look at the 49ers, you right. look at the Eagles. They lost to the Cardinals. Had a couple of bad plays. The Cardinals played well above what we've mm-hmm. seen them play with Joshua Dobbs. Joshua Dobbs, got, and we've seen Joshua Dobbs go to Minnesota and win a couple mm-hmm. of games, get hot and win some games. The thing is, is that what they were able, what Philly was able to do, the 49ers was able to do, was to lock up that offensive line and not let continuous pressure, not let sacks get mm-hmm. to Purdy, not them let get to Jalen Hurts. And on the flip side, what were they able to do? Get to right. Dak Prescott, Eagles. And and the 49ers. So you got to be able to block their front. You got to, if you can't block that front, right. you can't beat them. And you got to get Dak off that spot. Now, Dak has done a great job. Dak has used his legs. Uh, Mike McCarthy's done a great job calling the game. He's moving him out of the pocket a lot more. He's asking him, hey, bro, if it's not their takeoff, we've got to put more pressure right. on the defense because the last cut the last year and a half. People don't think you run anymore. They don't think you. And I thought he looked lumbersome some of the time that when right. he's taken off. But over the last couple of weeks, Dak has looked good running mm-hmm. the football. He looked like he did right. pre-injury before he mm-hmm. broke that ankle. Um, but that's what you got to do against the Cowboys. You got to find a way to 
neutralize mm-hmm. their pressure, but you got to be able right. to get pressure. What the 49ers could run the football, Eagles ran the football somewhat, but it's hard to really say, mm-hmm. Ocho, when you're dealing with a division yeah. opponent. And that's why I give Cowboys credit also, because of the division opponent, no matter how bad mm-hmm. they are, they usually give you a Always. little fight. And they gave them a little fight mm-hmm. for a little while, but you see the talent level just rise mm-hmm. to the top, and you see they take off right. against the Giants. You see them take off against the Commanders, and that's what you're supposed to do. But the Cowboys, look, the Eagles to do what they did to go in there and basically be down the entire game mm-hmm. in Arrowhead and find a way to right. win that game. You saw the 49ers go on the road against a division opponent in a short week and dominate that game. You see the Cowboys, although they come home, haven't trailed the entire season. They've yeah. been tied, but they haven't trailed the entire season. Man, that hey, those are the three best teams. And I think right now, after watching Detroit to play, and we're mm-hmm. going to get into that game a little bit, Ocho, they're head and shoulders. It's like Eagles. I would have Eagles, a 49ers right. Cowboys, and then down you go Detroit, you know, go other right. teams like that. But right now, the Eagles, Cowboys, and the 49ers are up here, and no one else mm-hmm. in the NFC is close to those okay. teams. I like it. I like it. I what mean, you you're right. You're right. You're right. You, you're just curious. I'm, I was just trying to think of what would be the next step for the Cowboys. They play so they play exceptionally well in season and they obviously in the first round they they obviously they they, they falter you know things go wrong they don't go mm-hmm. the way they should as opposed to how they do like right now and all i think about is all the time people continuously harping and harping and harping and harping and always saying you know what this is our year this is our this is our year this is our year and this is right. one of the years now that i'm doing stuff like this and shows like this with you now i'm paying attention to everything i'm paying attention to all teams not right. just the damn dolphins and the Bengals, obviously where i played and obviously where i grew up <laughs> now i'm locking on everybody and i'm like oh shit this this is good now right. I'm, I'm actually focusing on Dak. i'm actually watching well i always watch all the receivers but now i'm watching the totality of all games offensively and defensively. And so I'm like, you know what? The way they look right now, how in the hell they should win a goddamn Super Bowl. I'm just the way I'm looking at the landscape of everything to this point. If you keep this up, obviously the season, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And you got to peak at the mm-hmm. right time. And the way they got them playing right now, yeah. I'm thinking after looking at looking statistically, the team that they've beaten and, and demolished have been below 500. So I was just curious what your answer would be on what do they need to do to beat those teams that are good, like the Eagles or the, the, the team that they will face yeah. in the well, NFC. They get the Eagles again in their mm-hmm. building. I think they got Buffalo mm-hmm. in their building. So we'll find out a little bit more about right. the Cowboys. At this point, Ocho, look, we've seen Dak Prescott win a rookie of the year. We've seen him have great regular season. Now he's only going to be measured by the success or non-success that he has in the postseason. Uh, uh, I don't care if Dak throws for 5,000 yards. Now he's got to get to the – he's got to go far in the playoffs because that's what he's up against because what he's measured against – is the other great quarterbacks that have won Mm. in Dallas, the other great quarterbacks that are playing currently. So if you think about it, there's only a hand, what I think is Mahomes and, and Rogers are the only quarterbacks that have MVPs. I think it's Mahomes and Rogers are the only ones that have Super Bowls. Am I correct? Oh, Jerry, no, Jerry Goff didn't win. Uh, uh, Matthew Stafford won there. So there's only like two or three quarterbacks that have MVPs Mm -hmm. and Super Bowls and still playing. That's that are crazy. active. So just imagine now it's going to change It's because they're not – listen, at the end of the day, you can say that defense and they're only going to go as far as Mike mm-hmm. on that defense. Dak's going to have to play well in order for them to win yeah. the Super Bowl or to win playoff games in order to mm-hmm. get to the Super Bowl. And I'm not saying he has to go 22 or 32 for right. 331 and four touchdowns, but he's going to have to play well because in a lot of games in the mm-hmm. postseason, he hasn't played well. The last two years against mm-hmm. the 49ers, he didn't play well. That year they came out here to the Coliseum and played the Rams, he didn't mm-hmm. play well. He went to his rookie year, and, I okay, you chalk that up, but we saw him go to mm-hmm. Lambeau, do a demolition job, and when they came came home, had the division ground there, and right. we saw what happened. So he's only going to be measured by – he's he's past the point of regular season. He's mm-hmm. at the point now, okay, now, Dak, okay, yeah. show me what you got. Show me what you got in the yeah. postseason. That's how he's going to be measured, and rightfully so. Check this out. Deron Bland. I, hey, I haven't seen anything boy, like this. Boy, man, 
NFL single season record for interception returns for a touchdown. He got his fifth pick six touchdown. Ocho, we've seen guys. We've seen guys that, man, if he'd have held on to that, mm-hmm. that would have been a pick six. Oh, he'd have went mm-hmm. to the house. He, he ain't missing. Nothing. And the funny thing about it is this. It, I want people to understand how elite and how great this is, what Deron Bland is doing. The game of football offensively is all about timing. Router time. Yes. You have to be able to either gamble or either guess right or be extremely great at your technique, reading your keys, using your eyes, knowing when to break, having um film study, studying enough film to know what's coming in front of you to be able to get a yeah. be able to be two steps ahead of the offense and knowing what's coming based on down the distance, based on alignment, stuff like that. Dude, the run I, I went back and watched all the all the picks. Dog, this is lined up literal coverage and making a break on the ball and going the other way with it. This ain't no tip. Yeah. I mean, this ain't yeah, no tip it. balls and, oh, it's a ball in the air. No, nope. oh, he is literally locking Mm-mm. up, reading his keys, making a break on the ball and going to the house. Man, un. And the ball is, Ocho, the ball is on the out. Mm-hmm. A lot of them been mm-hmm. out routes. Mm-hmm. And the ball is a, a behind. tad behind. That's all you need. Just, just a That's tad. That's all you need. And you know on the out route, Ocho, that's yeah. going to the house and yeah. you're behind now. You better throw that ball so either he catch <laughs> it or it's incomplete, incomplete out of, out of bounds. Yeah. yeah. Because if you miss, oh, he's yeah. on his hip time. The question is, can he hold mm-hmm. on to it? And he yeah. hadn't missed. Because last week he got one against Carolina. The dude intercepted the ball, did a somersault, got up off the ground and ran it back mm-hmm. to a touchdown. Joke. But do you understand how good you got to be? Because here's the thing. I can only get a pick if they throw yeah. the ball my way. And they, they keep test. They keep testing. If they throw, let, they keep testing him. Yes, I mean the dude has more pick sixes than a lot he of is. your top receiver has touchdown yeah. catches. That's crazy, Ocho. I I mean he he's when I think of top re- DBs, mm-hmm. I'm not thinking no. of him, but he has to be in the defensive player to your conversation with that you with those. To. How do you how do you? How do you overlook you him? Ocho? Because he's done something. There, there have been many players, some of the some of the greats no. that have played in this game that had of have, have a total of even Hall of Famers have a total of six or five pick sixes throughout their career. Ret- career. Yeah, he's done it in a season alone. He's at five right he, now, he right? Got- he's at five. Oh, yeah, yes, he's five. Can't, if you play, if you played a video game, you played Madden. If you played Madden for seventeen weeks and you had a complete season. You can't get five interceptions on the goddamn video game, let alone thinking about doing it in real life. That's how good. That's how right. amazing what he's done. The feat that he's reached and accomplished this season is crazy. But, you know, it, it's a lack of respect for him because, I mean, time would go games. They wouldn't even throw mm-hmm. the ball his way. Rebus would go games. Uh-uh. They wouldn't throw his way. Champ Bailey, yeah. Rod Woodson, some of the greats. But you're uh, they're underestimating this guy. He's only in yeah. his second year. And so they're like, oh, we're going to mm-hmm. test him. We ain't going to mess with Stephon Gilmore, who was a former yeah. defensive player of the year. Oh, we ain't going to mess with him. Okay. Yeah, so now what you, Pretty soon he's going to – Now what you do. And, <laughs> pretty soon. And the funny thing about it, this is a great thing for them going into the postseason. This is the great thing going into yeah. Oh, into yeah. the postseason. Because now what you're scared, you ain't throwing Gilmore's way. But, God damn, we know if you're throwing Bland's side, you know what? There's a chance it might get picked. But I know what, what teams are probably going to do because – you're not gonna face receivers that are got that goddamn shifty that can actually I call it getting open on the muscle where you don't need the offensive coordinator's help. They're gonna yeah. have they no, yeah, you don't, you don't need have to scheme you. I need to go they, they're gonna condense the splits, condense the splits and have and, and force him to back up and find ways. You got to use motion, do all type of all type of tricks, be able to be able to throw the ball in the cowboys. You got you got to be able to do something because right now what he's done to this point is crazy. 